Hello everyone, and welcome back to our universe. Today, we'll be answering the question, why is space black? On Earth, we have the sun so close to our planet that it gives us an excellent level of light. So therefore, we can see everything around us in wonderful colors. And at night, we see the darkness because the light of the sun is no longer there. Our sun is like many of the other stars that we see at night. Each one of those stars is kind of like a sun in its own location. So basically, if all the stars are giving off all this light, why is the space so black? To figure out why the sky is black, we should probably explain why the Earth has so much light and colour. The Earth is surrounded by an atmosphere that contains gas, water, dust and dirt. When the light of the sun hits any of these objects, it scatters or bounces off, and this causes us to see the various colours. It is our atmosphere that gives us the ability to see the light and the colours. And this scattering effect lets us see the blue sky and the gorgeous tones of the sunrise and the sunset. Space does have gas and cosmic dust, but it doesn't have any atmosphere. Light will travel in a straight line until it hits something. And then once this light hits something and it bounces off an object, it is the atmosphere that allows the scattering effect and the ability to see all the colours in the spectrum. The surrounding space around us appears black because there isn't a strong enough atmosphere to cause the scattering effect. The light from the stars at the furthest end of the galaxy will take longer to reach our eyes than those that are closer to the Earth, because light travels at a constant speed. This means that when you are looking up into the universe and the surrounding stars in our galaxy, you are looking at lights that may have taken tens of thousands of years to get to Earth. You are looking at light from the past. And if you look even more in detail, you'll see that the night sky is jam-packed full of galaxies and galaxy clusters that are millions if not billions of light years away. So therefore you come to wonder why the light of so many stars can't simply light up the universe. The fact that there is some gas and cosmic dust particles should allow us to see some visible light. One theory is stated that the universe is expanding away from Earth and therefore the light from the stars is also moving away. When I say that the universe is expanding away from the Earth, I don't actually mean that the Earth is the centre of the universe, because all of space is expanding, it's just from our perspective we see that everything else is expanding away. So as the universe keeps on expanding, the wavelength of light gets longer and longer, so therefore we end up having less and less visible light until there is no light that we can see. The same can be said of sound, you know when you hear an ambulance, it sounds higher pitched and louder the closer that it is. And the sound gets lower, the farther it gets away from you, this is known as the Doppler effect. The final piece of this puzzle is to come to the realisation that the universe isn't as old as we originally thought, it is believed to be just under 15 billion years old. This age might not be old enough to allow light from all the stars to actually reach Earth so we can see it. Scientists have developed some technology that we can see light in other wavelengths that our eyes can't see. By using this technology, we see that space is still very black, but we can see other colours that are usually hidden to our eyes, and see things that are very faint. For example, it has given us a great chance to try and figure out the gases that make up nebulas, as each gas has a specific colour. And these wavelengths can be split up to observe great things within our universe. For example, gamma rays can look at compact objects in collision, x-rays can look at neutron stars, ultraviolet can look at quasars, visible light can look at stars, infrared can look at galactic nuclei, and radio can look at pulsars. So even though our universe is not lit up like a Christmas tree, we can still understand it and observe it in great wavelengths of light. So I hope that's given you a good understanding on why space is black, and also give you a great insight into the wavelengths of light. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you really 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 enjoyed it, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.